Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So after the first episode, we managed to pick a bunch of, pick up a bunch of stuff to, to upgrade our our uh, crappy old uh, primitive mechs. So let's have a quick look and we'll go through them all. We're going to start off with the Fire Bee. So we uh, sort of identified a few problems with our mechs right at the start. I did nothing with them on the first battle just to see how it would uh, work out. And we did okay. Now what I did with this guy... Originally, we had two tons of uh, SRM Inferno ammo, one ton of LRM Inferno ammo, one LRM-5 in this arm and SRM in this arm. So I pulled one of the SRM-2s five or SRM twos out sorry, and replaced it with an LRM-5, added the standard fusion engine, um, put a fire control system standard, a basic cockpit, and sensor sniper, because this really is our scout mech, right? It's our fastest mech. It gets in close. So we've got two SRM-2s with Inferno, two LRM-5s with, with Inferno. So we've got 10 turns of firing here and 25 turns with the SRM. So that's plenty of ammo there. Plus I put those two bolt-on rockets that we bought in the first episode on this guy. So if we get in close and we need it, we need to get do a, a heavy blow on somebody. We've got both of these guys sitting here ready to go. Now this mech is still really heat efficient. Uh, we don't have to worry about overheating it or anything, but this is uh, gonna end up being our scout mech. So that's the way I laid it out. So that's it for this guy. Now, uh, a gladiator. There's not much I can do with this mech. The problem is it's only got three laser hard points and that's it. And it's got one support point. So I couldn't upgrade any weaponry on this guy. It's going to stay the same way for quite a while. Put the fire control system standard on. Uh, dropped in the fusion standard fusion engine. And we saved a ton of weight. So um, I added on four. I, I, we had two jump jets. I added in two more that I bought for four jump jets. We got some mobility on this guy. Um, it already had max armor, so I didn't have to touch the armor at all. But that's all I did with this guy. Now, also too on the uh, on the um, fire bee, I upgraded the armor on it too, so um, it's much heavier armor now. It's maxed in most of its locations, so it's really good on defense. Now the um, the dervish got a bit of an upgrade as well. It's kind of cool. This mech's got hyper hyper extending actuators, and although if you target the mech on the ground and turn it left and right you can see where the firing arc is but it's actually 30 percent past that firing arc so you can shoot by past that which is kind of cool so with this mech we added the fire control system missile uh, to give the direct fire because this guy is always pretty much in direct fire he's relatively fast moving uh, i took out one of the extra tons of srm ammo and moved the srm ammo into the torso here i took a a um a half ton, I bought a half ton of LRM ammo to drop in here as well, and as well as one more jump jet. So as you can see, just updating the fusion core. Oh yeah, I dropped the ferrofibrous in this guy as well, and increased the armor. It's not at full, but I increased the armor a fair bit. Um, but as you can see, even just dropping a fusion core in gives you the ability to, to really start to develop the mech a little bit. Gives you a bit of room for doing stuff. So um, we've got, so we won't run out of LRM ammo in this mech. Uh, we've got, what? Um... 240, it's 12, 15 turns of firing with those, and then 25 turns with the SRMs. So plenty of ammo. Um, once again, we're limited to four missile hardpoints and one uh, um, uh, support point. So we really can't do much with this guy other than upgrade the current weaponry that we do have. So that's all we did with this guy. And then the archer, we have a look at this guy. Did a, bit, a, a bunch to this guy. So um, I took the we, we I got rid of one of the fire bees out of our lineup. Just put it in storage for now. It's really cheap to bring forward and re-outfit if I have to, but there was no point in paying for it. So I just put it in storage. Took the ton of incendiary ammo that we had in there, dropped it in the uh, the archer. So we got three more turns of firing. We were short last time, but this time we'll have three more turns. Uh, I was able to drop an extra heat sink into it, and the fusion core went in. We have fire control system indirect because most likely, since we're so damn slow, we'll be firing indirect. And then the basic sensors in this guy, just so that we can get some better sensors on people. So that's it. That's all I did with this guy. Um, not a lot changed, um, but that's it. So I already have an idea of what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to go to the command center. And, oh, I guess I should say, uh, we'll go to the engineering real quick. So... My kind of starting moves, this is the way I always start off when I'm upgrading my uh, the Argo. 
upgrade the power systems first because you need that to get the second mech bay. That's 10 days. Second mech bay is next, um, which allows you to repair a second mech at 50% efficiency as the same time you're repairing your main mech at 100% efficiency. It's expensive. It only takes 10 days, but I do that right away. Then right after that, I take repair and refit the automation, which will get that second mech bay uh, working at 100%. So now I can repair two mechs at the same time at full speed. That's 26 days in total now. And then 10 more days after that gives us the training module one, which gives our uh, mech pilots that are just sitting in the bay 30 experience points per day, which is, isn't really that much, but it, it adds up over time, especially if they're just sitting around. So uh, it's always good to get that. And it's only 10 days and it's relatively cheap. And then after that, I'm going to go with recreation. Um, but we're not, we haven't got the training module quite up and running yet, but recreation is going to be next. So we'll go back to en engineering. Uh, recreation is great. It gives you um, uh, plus two morale and plus one tech points. So that's the next thing we're going to go ahead and do. Um, and then I'll worry about everything else after that. It'll be either repair and refit, or we'll go with some more power systems, or maybe structure to, in order to get a few more of these things. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but right now, um, we're going to go take a mission. Let's go to the command center. So um, after moving our families out and stuff, uh, the uh, Magistry of Canopus figured out where we are all, where they were all sent to. So um, we're going to go have to de defend that facility. So we're going to take hold the line here, hold it against uh, the Canopian forces. Going to negotiate, take full salvage, of course, because we're going to need more parts. And let's bring the fire bee in and queen bee, of course, and let's deploy. Okay, here we go. Tasked with defending the installation. Hopefully, we got a lot of guys coming after us. That'll be fun. Okay, got to make sure the turrets get in and up and running here. Got a commando. Looks like an urban mech. Is that what that is? Can't tell. Yeah. Is that the LRM-20 version? Don't know, but it's stealth. Looks like he's got missiles. A locust and a stinger. Uh, and they're starting on that side. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. And we're over here. Okay. Alright, Queenie. Um, ooh, it's nice that the bolt-on rock has started as turned off. Let's get around to here. We'll go. It's nice having those, um, that extra LRM give us a bit of range on this guy. Yeah, we're not going to hit in the first turn, so let's just, uh, end it. Hunchback? Really? Javelin. Yeah, once again, you know, if the Rotec people are listening, they should, there should be a little, hopefully a little checkbox in the future where you can turn off the support lance. That would be really nice. But, once again, it's, you know, I'll default to whatever they do. It's just one of those quality of life things that would be really nice. Uh, can we get a shot of the guy that shot? Yeah, we can. Let's move over here. On the move. Full speed. Get in on this guy here. Oof, still crappy. All right, let's just hold off. Although I don't know why I'm hold. I gotta remember not to hold off. This is only a ten-turn mission. It's not like it's costing anything. Costing anything for ammo. this guy? Hammer? It's hammer time. See what I mean about the voice? It's just that, I don't know. Alright, let's move up here. 10%. Gonna leave the medium lasers off. We're just gonna fire the LRMs. Yeah, 
Yeah, a bit of damage. I wonder if we can move in here and block the vehicles from uh, activating the uh, the escort zone. That way we don't get turrets. Of course, that would mean we couldn't move during the whole uh, whole combat, but... Commander. I still remember that episode, and I can't remember who it was. One of our mechs got, got trapped here and ended up being a turret for the whole episode. I think it was an infiltration. Let's fire on this guy with a large laser. I don't know if that was a miss or not. I think it was. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for filling me in. Oh, beautiful shot of the Irby. Ow. Oh, it's not me, so I don't care. <laughs> it's a Whitworth. It's not me. I thought that was me. I don't know if those are rocket packs. I don't think so. I think that's an LRM-20. Barrage incoming. One turn. Where? Oh, I see. Yes! I mean, not good, because it's going to be like hitting our face. But, I mean, it's nice how they, they did that. Well, that guy's shutting down. I don't know if we're going to take any damage from that barrage being this close. I should see if I can sprint over a bit more and get it out of the way a little bit. I mean, I put a hell of a lot of armor on the archer, too, so I'm not that worried about it. Badger? We don't need no stinking badgers. So what do we got for turrets? No idea. Spider. All right. I think I want you to stay the hell away from that Irby for now. 23 on the Locust. 7. 9. 40 on the Spider. We're going to take that fire and everything. Okay, not bad. I'm not used to it taking so long to kill light mechs, but whatever. I love this. This is beautiful. I th I don't know who it was that targeted the barrage. It would be nice if you killed the mech that, that let's su called shot for the head. Oh, that guy shut down. That's right. Be nice if that the if the um Yeesh 19 eh? If the if the uh, mech that was uh, that had called in the airstrike or the uh barrage if you destroyed it before the uh, barrage was incoming then um the barrage wouldn't land. Don't know if that's the case or not, but okay he's fired off a lot of rockets. He's still got rockets left. He is kind of hot, so let's use incendiaries on him. See if he second get. Oh, I didn't use do much, do too much. Yes, Commander. What do you think, Queenie? Can you get close enough to put some more incendiaries on this guy? You can. Just kind of at the extent of the uh, range of the SRMs, but we'll fire the incendiaries. Okay, he's standing in fire. Beautiful. Maybe he second guesses the shot and moves out of there. But I think he also moved through the uh, the geothermal area there. I'm not sure if he's actually still standing in it or not. Good to go. 
What do you think, buddy? How far can you jump now? Not very far. With four jump jets, that's it, eh? Okay, let's get in and target the side of the, uh, probably the spider. Find out who's the best shot here. That's not very good. Spider's good. He's not. There we go. Oh, terrible. We need to get you some pulse lasers, man. We need to get you some pulse lasers. That guy's only got three hard points too, man. Oh, that Irby is devastating. At least he's overheating though. I think it's all the turrets that are going now. Yeah, I'm liking the cut-ins. Originally, when I first started playing, uh, you have the option of using the floaty damage. Oh, there's the barrage. That's bad. Did we lose a pilot there? Okay, all the buildings are still uh, okay. Not sure how much damage they took though. Oh, not a, not that much. Still though, a few more of those barrages and those buildings are going to go down. Yeah, AI is coming out. I mean, they're really going after the base. It's nice. We're getting good. Um, like we've got a lot of guys on our side, but we're getting good resistance from the. Uh, from the enemy like they're not pulling out they're not running away they're not just moving up and bracing you know they are actually fighting which is great and you're screwed I love the fact that the uh, the urban mech targeted two separate mechs to shut them down you know it's playing a smart game I mean I wouldn't have targeted those two particular mechs but maybe they were their best chance to hit although I'm standing still so I don't know why he wouldn't target me but whatever Maybe he'll target me this turn. Oh, we got somebody milling. We do. Looking to add a bit of instability. I got piloting four, so I should be okay. Yeah. Awaiting orders. What do you think, B? Let's get on the side of this Irby. A little bit of bonus from shooting him from the side. Hopefully we hit him with a bunch of missiles. Gonna leave the rockets off for now, but we're gonna fire everything else. Keep him nice and toasty. We don't need those stinking badgers. I think I might just back up with the, uh, the archer and target that... Um, Maybe I'll move forward. Gonna ignore that spider. Put myself between me and the Whitworth and then target this guy with the incendiary again. Six heat, that's it, eh? We're a long way from shutting his ass down. Yes, I mean, we are in the cold biome too, so it's like really tough to capitalize on that. Alright, let's move into here. We're going to target that urban mech again. Getting up the hill should help us out. 40% with the LRMs. Let's go ahead and take it. Nice. Now, he's expended most of his rockets already anyway, so... He's not that dangerous. Got something you want done? But if it, any, any of my series that deserves to have an urban mech as one of the main mechs, it's this one. Alright, firing. Okay, one hit. Nice. Penetrated. Looks like it was a leg hit. 
Look at this guy. He's going to go right through the, the geothermal too, eh? You got balls, buddy. Probably a good idea I moved away from that spider. We'd be getting hit by everybody else. Illuminated times 15. Ooh! Well, he isn't a locust. Going down. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Of course they are. Okay, we need to do a couple things. Queenie, I need you to get on this urban mech. Let's flank him. Gonna keep you on this herb until he's gone. I think this guy's spent anyway. He's got one missile left. Confirm. Keep him nice and bakey. Too heat, huh? Stressing though. Yeah, Whitworth's back in the game, kind of. Okay, I'm gonna leave this urban mech or this uh Locust, I think they're going to kill him with the uh, defenders. We're going to switch over and see what just landed. Oh, stop. If you're unstable, I'm stepping on you. No? You know what? I got that melee action. I wonder if I should just punch him from behind. Ooh, he hit him in the back. We can get a couple shots on his back. Maybe I can just shoot him. Okay, we're going to be rotating. Let's go this way. And see if we can shoot that spider in his back. We've probably got a couple of turns. we got a turret up here that can fire on the incoming attackers. Don't miss him. Ooh. Ooh. Chances to hit, man. I think we'll try a melee attack from behind. Hope I don't fall over. If any time in the battle is a good time to fall over, it's right about this point. Beautiful. There goes his right torso. Um, it landed back here. We've probably got a turn or two. Let's help out with this urban mech. See what I mean? The arc was here, and then but we can still fire back this way. See? The 30% cover? Beautiful. Not the best chances on this guy, but I want this urban mech gone. He's got one incendiary rocket left. Come on, somebody take that spider out so I don't have to. I think I'm going to rotate... Oh, what do we got? A flea. Got a bit of speed to him. We still got that... that um, was it Stinger back there? Don't... You hit me, you bastard. Twice. Yeah, I know. As much armor as you can get, man. Doesn't matter who it is. He's back. Rotunda. Time to switch back to normal ammo. Get on these guys moving up. What else do we have? What do we have here? Ninety-seven percent chance to attack. Let's fuck him up. See ya. That's what you get. Yeah, see, I wish his voice was louder. Don't know if I can find those sound files. If I can, I'll fix it. Like I was saying, I think last episode, if the Rogue Tech team reaches out to me, I can get that fixed. Alright, what do we else do we have back here? 
Oh, what was that? Oh, that was the hammer? From overheating. Urban Max trying to cool himself off. Is he going to fire? Nope. Although, if you noticed, I'm not sure if you guys are noticing that Urban Mac is moving and rotating himself because his left side is damaged. And he's positioning himself so we're sh we can only shoot him from the front or his armored side. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's um, way better AI usage, that's for sure. Yeah, don't move. Just stand there, buddy, and cool off. Ah, fuck. Whatever. Maybe you'll show up in the, uh... Maybe you'll, you'll, you'll show up in the loot table. They shouldn't. Come on, guys. you got to be able to finish him off. Look at the smoke. Cool. That's awesome. At least they don't have a barrage coming in. This might be a uh, a light mine turret. Eh? He's already used up his mine dispensers. At least they're shifting over to where the new guys are coming in. Hopefully they can absorb that attack a bit. This thing is moving back in again. Targeting the buildings. Um, gonna rotate and target on this side. I think that's the, uh, yeah. Not a good chance to hit, but we're gonna take it. Go for the torso. Oh! You hit! Son of a bitch! Solid connection on that one. It's not bailing out, though. That Urban Mech, it looks like he's lost his stealth. Or does he still have it? I'm interested to see what he's got component-wise. That's why I'm trying to just burn through one side. I want to save some stuff. And there's no way I'm doing a uh, called shot, because there's just like, like no chance of hitting. <gasps> Don't shoot the buildings. Okay, yes, he's all yours, and we're going to switch. Uh... Alright, Firebeat, move up over here. We're going to switch the Dervish back the other way. Firebee's going to finish this guy off, I think. Um, let's just see if we can do it this turn. Maybe just claim the leg. Anything? Upper leg destroyed, 11 heat. Still going. It's going to take a long time. If I can get those SRMs up to uh, sixes from the twos, I think that we'll be better off. It's going to take a long time. I think I told you guys the story. My youngest one. That was their, that was their cry. We just need to run into the store. Oh, it's going to take a long time. Whining and rocking back and forth in their chair. Their uh, car seat. It's going to take a long time. <laughs> we couldn't not laugh, but the more you laugh, the more they get upset. It's just like... <laughs> Kids, man. They're best. I want you to wreck this friggin' stinger. I actually wish we could multi-target, but we can't. Let's move into here. Whoever we had the best shot at, we're going to take it. Switch our ammo back to standard. 14 percent, 48 percent, 27. Let's make sure we kill him. I think that was the guy with the uh, the barrage tag, so gotta make sure he's gone. I should have changed my voice on the main character between episodes. 
God, I love that that arc. I can shoot at people like just behind me. Be nice to see if uh, if we can get a 360 degree arc on a urban mech. That would be cool. If I get anybody in a circle, because technically their upper body rotates, right? Okay, 5.8, 7. A flea. What else do we have back here? A hunter. I can't target the other guy. I just fired the Irby. Okay, we've got the leg, torso. Rockets are destroyed. Oh, he's got the tag barrage. Crap, we blew it up. Oh, well. Ah, well. We might be able to get lucky and get another head hit on this guy. Maybe he'll try to stand up and fall over. That would be beautiful. Couldn't get any more perfect than that. What's that? Is that smoke? Or is that incendiary? It looks like smoke. That's cool. If that is smoke, that's awesome. It would kind of make sense because the uh, the locust was in that in some smoke down here, and we're having a hard time targeting it when he was lying on the ground. I don't know what that is. Is he backing up? I think he is. It's got to be smoke because not being able to hit a guy lying on the ground like that with anything. It's got to be smoke. It's the only thing I can think it is. And then, you know, that guy goes ahead and hits. Good luck standing up with no gyro. 16. Who goes on 16? Oh, I do. I'm almost, you know, it would be almost more efficient to have two LRM-20s on the Dervish with that firing arc. Just have a stand back and shoot at everybody. The only problem is, is I've only got two uh, two launchers. That guy's closing on me. Man, I got like no movement speed here. Just back it up. I think he's outside the minimum range now. Probably. Let's target this guy. All right, bit of damage. Start stripping that armor off him. Oh, the Whitworth is kind of half decently back. Then they're probably going to overheat themselves. Nope. Order. All right, hot shot. Let's engage on this side. Full speed, no target. Now this guy's technically a melee mech, so slightly better on this flea. No biggie. We're going to see if we can step on that rotunda, though. Come on. Ah, stop. Stop it. Okay, we're going to bring... Uh, see, he moved into the smoke. Or is the smoke moving towards him? I think he moved into the smoke. Need to get you to gauge on this side now. Oh. Point nines, point nines. We can fire everything at this guy, so let's go ahead and do that. For an alpha One good thing about having almost no weapons is we're pretty heat efficient. Even the gladiators heat even. Yeah, that's got to be smoke. Okay, we're going to bring Queen Bee down behind that stinger. Alright, you know what? Maybe we'll move over and see if we can 
No, we're going to crest the hill, see if we can get behind the stinger. Because I don't think we're going to be able to hit that urban mech. Effectively, that is. We might be able to target this guy's back and do some good damage. Commander. We really need to pick a weapon here. Ooh. All right, well, let's get up here anyway. Roger that. I know it's hot, but we're in a cold environment. Not that bad. Let's see if we can core this guy. Copy that. At least we're keeping his heat up. That's gonna hurt. Oh, I should have tried for a headshot. Oh, well. I forgot he's down to one. We well, yeah, next turn. No one's hitting him, so no biggie. I thought they were supposed to have two more lances coming in. Maybe the other one was like is far away. Three, four, five. No, it's two, four. I don't know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they should have a they should have more guys somewhere, I think. Unless I'm counting the chevrons wrong. So the up chevrons are them. Okay, the down chevrons are us. That would make sense. Come on, just make them make them bail out. Come on, bail out. There you, there you go. There you go. We may have saved some good components. We'll see. That's the kind of mech I'd want to take mech parts from. I think there's only going to be three, two or three in the uh, in the salvage, so it may not be worth taking. But like I said, we do need head components for a lot of our mechs. We need better sensors. We need better cockpit. The minus one piloting is kind of bad. Woo, that's a building hit, eh? Yeah. That arachne. These guys are. Uh, Starting to cause some damage here. We got to do do some uh, damage of our own. Better chance to hit. Taking it. God, a whole lot of nothing, eh? We're going to step on him with the gladiator, though. See if that does anything. We'll leave the stinger to, ra uh, to um, Queen Bee. That's blue? And that's green? Sure. It's not a bad chance to hit, so we'll take it. Not gonna do much damage, but we'll fire. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Alright, that's a little bit. Thirteen heat. Not that it's gonna make a difference on a stinger. Now, I'm batch recording a bunch of episodes, so if I don't get back to your comments or make changes right away, that's the reason why. I'm not sure how my week's going to go next week, how busy I'm going to be, so, uh... Oh, he's going off the turrets, eh? I know I've got one project due Monday. I've got another one due by the end of the week. We'll just have to see how it goes. Hopefully if I get a bit of time next week, I can start rebuilding this attic. want to be able to adjust some stuff here to make some room. With my work computer up, I can't have my second computer up and running, which can be annoying. Um...
Let's start engaging these guys. Don't think that stinger is too much of a threat. 2.9. Six point five on the hunter. How many turns we got left? We're on round seven. Let's just try and work on one thing at a time. Nope. Nope. Waiting for orders. All right, hot shot. 9.3 35 We'll take the 1 in 3 chance Oh yes You got that right I don't mind exposing my back to those guys back there Now that I know I got good armor on there I think it's like the minimum is 50, I think, on the side torsos and 60, I think, in the center, or 45 and 60 or something like that. So I'm not worried about that. They don't have enough firepower to shoot through it in one turn. They got three guys left. So I mean, I guess I shouldn't have expected three lances with it only being half a skull, but we are ready to move up a skull, I think, though. There's also, um, I installed the, uh, some difficult missions, and uh, there was a half skull mission where it was like, I need you to teach uh, my son-in-law a lesson, and I was like, my, my starter mech was an Orion, right, it had an AC-10 and a couple of medium lasers, I think, and I, I think it was, at that time I had an LRM-15 and an LRM-5 or something on it, so I had a fair bit of stuff on it. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll go teach this guy a lesson with my Orion at half skull. And guess what it was? It was a freaking Clint Eastwood mech, and he wrecked me with a, with a, with a rotary 20. And I was like, what? <laughs> at half a skull. And I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, not taking those mech missions anytime soon. <laughs> the salvage was like zero for three, too, right? It's like I, it was, I, I actually cranked up the, the money for it. So you either have to have a really high-tech, good mech. Or don't even bother going. But it does warn you when you're installing, when you're installing those extra missions, it does warn you that they're super hard. So, I was warned. Took an Ultra 20. It wrecked the Orion real fast, I gotta say. I lasted, I think, well, I lasted two turns of rotary fire on me. That was it. Two turns of rotary fire and I was done. And I had full armor too. That's the other thing. I had full armor. Didn't matter though. Didn't matter. Let's see if we can damage this pilot. Hammer him. I don't know if this smoke is permanent or what it is. I don't want to get too close because then, well, still the same. Better to get in this close, I think. I think the better with the SRMs. Wow, we hit everything. Let's go for this torso. Come on, bail out. Bail? Nope. You'd think he would bail. He's burning alive in there. Yes, Commander. Come on, dude. Let's keep that streak up. How are you doing for your stability? You're doing well. Uh... Yeah, man. Back attack, 61%. Let's do it. Don't fall over. Ooh! I think, I hit something good. I think you did, too. Well, we figured out what our melee mech is. Who's this guy? Oh, that's the hunter. And another urban mech back here. Okay. Kind of far away. 
on round eight here. Don't think we got time to get that Irby. Even if I went full speed after him, I don't think I could kill him. Ow! Groin shot! we get him? No, we didn't get him. We hit our own guy, didn't we? Looked like we did. Shot in the pills, baby. Shot in the pills. All right, well, two turns left. You still got four guys. Urban mech's moving up. That's good. Come on, somebody finish this flea off for me. I'm thinking those AOE weapons are... Uh, Gonna be the way to go. Especially early on. Okay, you got rid of him for me, thank you. Freeze me up to move over. They got three left. Come on, finish him off. Not quite. Bail out. Nope. It's unsteady though. You might be able to do it. No. No, you can't. I'd love to be able to kill that urban mech, but... We've only got... This is round nine. Um... Okay, fire on this guy. The flea should go down before round 10. Okay, two hits. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, you're going to reserve. Because I want to see how close that urban mech gets. I don't think he's going to be in melee range, though. I wonder if this has got to do with heat. My movement now is like nerfed again. My heat level is really high. Could be. 10%. 21. 4%. Air burst mortars or mortar. I'll probably hit my own guy with this, but let's see if we can trash this flea. See ya. No, he's still going. Yeah, I gotta change that voice. It's annoying that I can't hear what he's saying. Alright, finally, we got him. I get a line of sight on that Irby. Come on. Energy and missile. Copy Just going to fire on this guy. Okay, a little bit of damage. I don't think I can get behind him with the gladiator, shoot him in the back, and then punch him in the back to kill him. I hope I can. I just don't think we've got the, uh... What's up, boss? Don't think we've got the ability. No, we will be able to punch him next turn, though, so let's get in here. I'll reserve myself to the very last round. Okay, the large hit. Nice. That's important. I'll reserve till the very end. That was an arm hit. And then hopefully we can burrow through with everybody else shooting LRMs at him. Yep. 
Yeah, do your worst. Shoot the urban mech. Eh, useless. Come on, guys. Urban mech. He's like right there. Come on. Yes, Commander. All right, we're in the open. Not bad on this guy, firing everything. Okay, a little bit of damage. Yes, Commander. How far can you get? Not that far. All right, let's just try it. Nothing. Don't think we're going to get this urban mech. Going to reserve him. He goes on 11. When does the urban mech go? 12. Okay. We still got full... Uh, Full we'll lerms for this guy. Here it comes. Okay, penetrated, destroyed his. Yep, yeah, destroyed the mortar. That's the small laser. Okay. I have no idea now. Of course I don't. We have a chance to kill him from behind? I don't know. We're only doing 36 damage. We can kill this thing though. 35%, eh? Double damage. We won't be able to pen that. Alright. Let's just go after this guy. We might get lucky. We might not. Attack him from this side. Maybe get an explosion or something. Maybe. Upper arm. Mortar destroyed. Red arm. Yeah. Can't have everything. We still got our we still have our turrets though. Maybe they'll actually shoot this guy. Unlikely. Not bad though. Yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate it. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, well, contract payment increased by 75%. We'll need that for damage. We didn't take that much damage, though. Took a little bit. No pilot injuries, which is good. Not very many kills on our side. Well, there's two Irby parts. RM-25s, eh? Eight missile. Two laser. ER medium laser. That's a possibility. Large laser, medium, basic cockpits, endo steel. 
We have our fire control systems, Guardian ECM. We haven't had a problem with that just yet. IF jammer, Mark 1, eh? Placing copper sensor system creates a low-level ECM field but cannot enable stealth. Can be used additionally to can be used additionally to ECM equipment. So it adds on to ECM, eh? Interesting. Um, standard fusion engine we don't need anymore. So it's really what's up, whatever is up here. Uh, I should take three basic cockpits. Let's grab these two, the ER medium, and then the rest of the stuff. I mean, we could take the rockets, but like I said, we're we have limited hard points in all of our mechs. So let's grab the three basic cockpits to fill out our three. Well, two of them plus the endo steel. And then see what we get after that. All right, flea spider part, stinger part, nice. A couple of rockets, large, medium laser, machine gun. We got most things. A couple of cores, fire control system standard, a ton of jump jets. Yeah, some stuff we can sell. So that's all right. All right, seven thousands. That's nothing. So we were successfully able to get our family to safety, defend them there. So now we're going to take the fight to the Magistrate Canopus. Going to go after them hardcore. I'm going to get some updates on the mechs here with the components that we just got. Get ready for the next battle. Um, and I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm, re I'm really enjoying playing this series. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the series, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel, free, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.